Beautiful Bones Sakurako's investigation. I, so here's just a quick story about me. I've been watching forensic murder documentaries since <laughs> I was 11. I love them so much. And so when I saw this show, I was like, forensics anime. And I got really excited and I liked it so much. And uh, I thought the animation was beautiful. Animation um, is gorgeous. It's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous show. There's a scene where uh, Sakurako, she's this, um, she's kind of like a, gifted genius um like forensic anthropologist basically and so she uh can analyze bones and see you know from just like a quick glance kind of estimate you know what the animal or human is uh, how old the specimen is and blah 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 so uh there's this scene where she's looking at a crime scene and she kind of like everything kind of slows down because she's thinking and all of these like beautifully animated like animal skeletons are walking around and I was just like <laughs> yeah I just love I love a, stuff like this it's kind of like CSI with a touch of magic in a way but I mean like there's no magic actually involved but it just seems so whimsical and like fantastical yeah, yeah and it's as not, she analyzes things it's not as goofy as CSI like I, it's it's very much like she I love the science behind it. She explains, you know, oh, you can tell this is, uh, you know, the skull of, uh, you know, someone of Asian descent because of how the, you know, the skull is the shaped, skull is shaped the skull. and yeah. and you can, you know, tell by the dental work that it's this old because there is no dental work and blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I don't know. I love it. <laughs> no, I love that she goes to the one crime scene and she's like, well, I can tell you that this was a murder. It wasn't a double suicide because if you're right handed, you can't tie the knot this way. And even yeah. if you did, you're it's facing the wrong direction. And then it's like, you know, drowning victims have like froth coming out of their mouths because the water got in their lungs and these people don't have that so they didn't drown mm -hmm. and she was able to just look at everything and be able to tell that and was like explaining forensic stuff in a way that even I could understand yeah and I was really super interested in that also yeah. she just looks so mature oh like God. I just want to queen mention, it's cool because you don't see a lot of adult women being the main or one of the main protagonists she's mm -hmm. kind of like not necessarily sidekicked by another kid, but the other kid is definitely the person we're following from his perspective a little bit more so. Mm -hmm. um, but Sakurako, like, she just looks so, like, mature. I'm like, man, I want to grow up to be like you one day. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Goals. Um, yeah. Life goals, wife goals. Also, it's important to note that she's actually not, like, a cop or anything or in forensics Yeah, for the she's police. like a hobbyist. She, yeah, so she's a... Uh, she's the daughter of a forensics like, professor. Yeah. Yeah, so she knows about this link. It is her job to, like, I forget what it is. It's called the Bone People people with the bones the, they, the bone people the, that works I mean, the skeletons osteo, that, osteo, osteo, osteo something yeah can you want to say yeah, osteoporosis like, I, like her actual her, <laughs> it's definitely not osteoporosis nope. <laughs> so um, it's like her position like i don't remember like science she, I, she works it's my sister's job not mine <laughs> yeah she works uh, with um so she does work with bones like that is her job that's her job um, we have internet i'll look it up her uh yeah that's a good idea uh her, so her her official job is not crime investigation but right. she uses her knowledge to do that yeah so it's um, kind of cool seeing her step on these scenes and like the weird yeah like problems it poses because she just shows up she's like hey i'm here to help but you didn't ask me but i'm here anyway <laughs> yeah and it that was the one weird thing i was like because okay the i justified it to myself because i was just so on board with the show immediately that oh you know they're in this kind of like podunk area and it's like this county police force and so they're not very like professional and that's why that she came she comes up to the crime scene which is like not something that you do yeah, no like, you don't walk just walk straight on you don't, like, hey you don't really don't don't do that you hey can't, you can't <laughs> walk onto crime scenes because that's bad uh <laughs> don't do that but um so she just kind of shows up and they're kind of like oh i guess we'll just let her do that and that was the one thing where I was like, really? Uh, but she did, she was kind of bewildering to them. She's like, oh, you're wrong. Let's do an autopsy. And they were like, what? This is totally a suicide. And she was like, nah. It's like, no, you guys are dumb. Yeah, she's like, you're dumb. I know what I'm talking about. Um, I Yeah, I just, I went to, like, I applied to college as a chemistry major because I wanted to do forensics. I just love forensic science so <laughs> much. I'm so happy that there's a forensics anime. Yeah, and it's really well done, too. It's, it's not it's, it's not pretty. garbage, which is nice. Yeah, it's, and it's not, like, like, I don't really, I, have, I don't think I've e even ever seen an episode of CSI because I'm not into, like, the, dr the drawn out dramatics of it. Like, it wasn't like that. It wasn't super, like, oh, my God, who's the killer? It was yeah. more like, yeah. hey. Science says that's not a suicide. I yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like legal dramas for that reason because my dad is a lawyer and I've seen him in court and the whole thing with, you know, like going to court and, you know, doing the dramatic accusations and all that stuff that doesn't work that way. But it's, right. I know it's entertaining, but I do like that this show is more grounded. It's, 
Yeah. It's not super over the top, but it's it's just very sort of mysterious mm-hmm. and it's a thinker. I think it's grounded because of the way Sakurako is characterized. Like yeah. Miranda said, she's very mature. She looks very mature. She might be a little weird and she might be really into death and bones and stuff. And why is she hanging out with a 15-year-old, by the way? <laughs> yeah, so that's, that hasn't been revealed yet, but there's obviously hinting out why she's hanging out with this kid. So... Like I said, like before, the kind of the protagonist is this boy who's in, I guess, high school or something. Yeah, yeah. Shotaro. And, yeah, and they're very opposite in their nature and personalities. Like, he's right. very outgoing. He's kind of, like, nice. Right. Um, and just pretty normal. <laughs> and yeah. she's very much not. Um, they go out together to go hunt for bones, and that's when mm-hmm. she finds a skull. Or he skull. finds a skull and yeah. gives it to her. And she's like, I must keep this. She's like, you can't. You can't, can't keep that. Can't keep a skull. Yeah, yeah. and so he keeps you a little bit more grounded too. Like that's in reality, true. like that's another facet of it. Like he is there to be like the viewer in a way. Yeah, exactly. I think he's the lens with which you're supposed Absolutely. to see Sakurako, and you know the average viewer is going to think she's a little weird. Kind of like he thinks she she's a little. Weird. <laughs> she is weird. She's like, I hope the bones are the bones of murder victims. I like, like what, whoa. Yeah, what she um, said about that was so interesting. Is like humans are not wild animals. If you find human bones out in the world, it is something. Something is up. Like there's mm-hmm. a story behind it, and I think she's fascinated by the story. Yeah. Which, which is interesting. Which is, that's what I'm excited for for the rest of the show is w- what's going to be unraveled. Um, and I, I do I do like how grounded it is, even though it is it is a little bit whimsical the way she kind of does yeah. things, but it's not like goofy. So yeah. I like that. Yeah. And the animation is gorgeous. It's so pretty. And the music is pretty. It's a, it's a pretty it's show, so which good. I like that contrast with something dark, but with something very pretty looking. Yeah. Check so it this out. This is like the better version of CSI, but like anime. way better. <laughs> and also anime. 